Hey everybody, today we're talking about absolute extremal on a closed interval. We're looking at the function f of x equals x plus 1 over x on the interval 0 0.2 comma 4. We'd like to know where this function is as large as possible, what that value is, where it's as small as possible, what that value is. Now, we know that on, an, on a closed interval, a continuous function can take its extrema only at two sorts of points, critical values and endpoints. So we're going to find the critical values. We're going to plug those into the function. We're going to take the end, find it. We're going to get the endpoints, plug those into the function. The largest number we get there will be the max. The smallest will be the min. Let's go. So the derivative of x is 1. 1 over x we'll view as x to the negative first. So we get negative x to the negative second. That does not exist at x equals 0. This is 1 over x squared. Can't divide by 0. So we make a note that with x equals 0 is potentially something we need to consider as a critical value. Where is this equal to 0? 0 equals 1 minus 1 over x squared. So 1 over x squared is 1, moving this over to the other side. Multiplying both sides by x squared, 1 equals x squared. And then taking square roots, x is plus or minus 1. Make that a little neater. OK, great. So overall, I've got five points I need to consider. The endpoints, point 0.2 and 4. The critical value um, candidate, x equals 0. And then these other two critical value candidates, plus or minus 1. But we can rule two of these out right away. x equals 0 and x equals negative 1 are not inside this interval. So we don't need to worry about them. We're specifically interested in the max and min between these two values. So we can ignore this. And we can ignore the negative 1. So overall, we're going to need f of 0 0.2 f of 1, and f of 4. Okay. f of 1 is the easy one. f of 1 is 1 plus 1, or 2. f of 4, not much worse. 4 plus 1 fourth. Let's write 4.25. Might be easier to compare decimals than fractions, potentially. Finally, for point 0.2, well, here we get point 0.2. Here we have 1 over point 0.2. I'm going to use the fact that I know that point 0.2 is a fifth. So 1 over a fifth is 5. I'm getting 5.2. OK, now we're ready to make some decisions and draw some conclusions. This is the biggest of the three. This is going to be the absolute max. The way we say it is that the absolute maximum value of this function on the interval is 5.2. It occurs at x equals 0 0.2. Similarly, of these three numbers, this is the smallest. This is the absolute min. We say that the absolute minimum value of the function is 2. It occurs at x equals 1. That's it.